Now, today is International Mother Tongue Day, a day designated by the United Nations to promote multilingualism uh, around the world. Many Africans, like myself, are fiercely proud of their mother tongue. But there is a worrying trend because almost half of the 6,000 languages spoken in the world are in danger. And every two weeks, an entire language disappears. Well, there's one language that's growing in popularity inside and outside of Africa. Salim Kikeke has been finding out more. Students learning Kiswahili, or Swahili as it's known in English. This course is hugely popular and at least a dozen students graduate here in London every year, speaking the language fluently. Uh, I am from America. I first learned Swahili when I went to Tanzania three years ago. I started studying it here in Soas last August because I want to improve my Swahili. My name is Moe. I'm from Japan. The reason I'm learning Swahili is because I was attracted by the African culture, like music and dance. So I chose to learn Swahili so that I can learn more about Africa. My name's Jessica. I'm from Portugal, but originally from Cape Verde. I'm learning Swahili here in SOAS because I think Kiswahili is a very important language in Africa. With so many languages spoken across Africa's 54 countries, Swahili appeals because of its diverse history and its place as the most widely spoken language across the continent. And of course, it's a language that got a huge boost internationally thanks to Disney's hit film, The Lion King, popularized by the expression Hakuna Matata in its story about the Lion Kingdom in the fictional Pride Lands of Africa. The phrase has actually been trademarked by Disney Corporation, which caused no small amount of furore by some supporters and speakers of the Kiswahili language. Even though it's not grammatically correct, it is not correct for a company to trademark our language or our culture, our inheritance, and say it's theirs. Today it will be these two words that maybe don't make sense to us, I mean, but does to them. Tomorrow it will be something else. Spoken by over 100 million people in East and Central Africa, it's one of the official languages of the African Union, and there's talk of making it a language spoken by all Africans. South Africa has recently adopted it into its curriculum. I go to conferences with fellow sisters from Africa. They speak French, I speak English, we speak. And there's nothing that unites us also as Africans. So our children need that also, to have a common identity with what is predominantly an African language, which is Kiswahili. While there are fears that factors like globalization are affecting many languages across the world, Swahili seems to be taking a different stride towards uniting a continent and perhaps becoming a pan-African language. Salim Kikeke, BBC News, London. Well, we'll get a sports shortly with uh, Mimi, but first, what is your mother tongue and do you often speak it? Uh, it's Igbo from Niger. My mom actually has a go at me a lot of the times because I don't really speak it that much. You don't speak it much? No. <laughs> <laughs> you should. I know that's true. Asante Sophie, the very few words in Swahili that I know. <laughs>